But there's plenty of fun in all sorts of forms. Arizona couldn't be better for all kinds of outdoor sports. And even while they're playing, they're learning valuable lessons for the future. Self-discipline, for one. How to be part of a team. How to work with others. The joy of competition. And that the way you play the game is the thing, not just the winning. They learn that rules are made to obey, not break. That the cynical philosophy which says nice guys finish last, well, that's a lie. And most important of all, perhaps, they learn about the deep satisfaction that comes from doing your best in cooperation with other people. Total dedication, total involvement. It's out of this kind of atmosphere that leaders are born. Of course, the fact that the school is on a big ranch is a dream come true for a lot of the youngsters, especially at roundup time. It's work, there's no doubt about that. And so this independent school builds their intellects and builds their bodies. But that's only half the job. Just as important are the more subtle influences this school has on the souls and the spirits of its boys and girls. For instance, there's a regularly scheduled program of outstanding guest speakers, lecturers, and musicians. And this exposes the youngsters to the best from the big world of art and science and culture that waits for them later on. They find inspiration here. They find focus, meaning, high example. For without focus, meaning, even the best educated person in the world would be a hollow being perhaps even a dangerous being. But here, youth is shown the road, the way, and the goals that are good. And they get plenty of chances to try out their own wings along the artistic lines that interest them most. Now, there are some people who say that in this highly automated world, craftsmanship is old hat. But Orm teaches and proves the enormous satisfaction that comes from creating something with the skill and dexterity of your own two hands. Ah, this is good for the soul. This is the training that can strike sparks, light a fire, and help illuminate the entire world. They learn the principles of democracy, these ORM students, by actually governing themselves, putting into practice the high quality standards of personal involvement that guides all ORM activities. They learn the social graces, too, through a continuing program of well-chaperoned events. And because ORM is co-educational, the natural rough edges of adolescence are gradually buffed off.
eventually the agony subsides. Now, don't get the idea that this school is a kind of a remote little world all its own, a sort of an academic island. No, it's quite the contrary. It's a definite part of the overall school program for the boys and girls to make frequent scholastic trips which tie in with the work they are doing in their own classes. As just one example of how this works, students make regular visits to the Phoenix Art Museum. Such expeditions help them appreciate more keenly the relationship between what they are learning in school and the applications they can make of that knowledge to the business of living a full and productive life as adults. And then, once a year, the school offers a special treat in the form of a caravan trip to distant places. It's a nice change of pace from the classroom studies. The caravan is usually an adventure into the past for the study of Southwestern America's oldest cultures, Indian, Spanish colonial, early settler. And it's a priceless chance to really take a good long look at the wonders of nature, the beauties of all life the mysteries of creation. Some 150 boys and girls usually go on these caravans and they have a really wonderful time. Ancient history comes alive on these trips. And God seems very close. Actually, God is close all the time with students of Orm. Religion and spiritual growth are vital to the good life these young people are seeking. Here they learn the eternal verities of honesty and concern for others along with an abiding faith in a supreme being. Convictions that will bring strength and purpose and meaning to their whole lives. All graduates of Orm School go on to college. Now, I think you'll agree that this is a tribute by college admission boards all over the country to the worth of an independent secondary school education. Independent schools like this one do offer something special and worthwhile. A sound education plus a system of values and a sharp focus of purpose which can't help but foster intellectual and moral integrity. And to me, it seems certain that out of this kind of constructive, consistent, and compelling community atmosphere, the groundwork can be laid for good citizenship and leadership and superior accomplishment. And let's face it, the world today certainly does need young people to whom the truth is more important than the trend to whom ideals are more important than the current idols. Young men and women who know how to build on rock and not on sand.
Well, that's about it, I guess. I came back to Orm. I've said my piece. Thank you very much for listening. Oh, hi. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry.